My name is Firefighter Michael Williams, Public Information Officer. We had several workers pressure washing portions of the roof on the Superdome. They had some type of malfunction with their equipment and caught fire. Portions of the roof burned and some of the insulation in one of the rain ducts. One uh, worker was injured, he was transported uh, to one of the hospitals, one of the local hospitals with minor burns to his face, arm, and chest. And this was a three alarm fire. So right now the fire is under investigation. How long did it take for you guys to put it out? Well, they're still working up there. It took several minutes to put it out because it was burning kind of fast and it was pretty difficult trying to get there. Do you know how many people were inside at the time? I don't know. I don't have that information. Can you talk about how difficult it is to fight a fire uh, up on the roof of a superdome like that? Hmm. It seems very difficult. Well, it is pretty difficult. You know, it's, uh, the roof is on a slant. You're wearing 75 pounds of gear and it's an emergency situation. So it's besides the fire uh, danger, you also have the danger of falling off the roof of the Superdome. So you were able to get guys up there or was it a... Yes. Because we saw the water up there, you know, like being thrown up there, but how, how did... Yes, it was a rain drain where the water was, uh, where the fire was burning and the walls were burning as an insulation. So the firefighters were able to stand on portions of the roof and also in a rain uh, canal to extinguish the fire. So you had firefighters going up from the inside, yes, climb upstairs, go, okay. Yes, and it was pretty difficult because that's a long way to go up there. That's why I went to a three alarm because we didn't know what the possibility of it um, spread. I know it's still early into the investigation, but talk about the extent of the damages to mm -hmm. that specific part mm -hmm. of the Superdome and the next steps mm -hmm. to securing that area, making sure there are no leaks and so forth. Where are we at with that? Well, right now we're still doing an investigation on how the fire started and the extent of the damage. So that's going to take a little while. We have an investigator coming and also Superdome crew is going to also be able to check to see the extent of the damage. So as silly as this may sound, is there a legitimate big hole right now through that area where the fire burned or is it just on like a layer of the surface outside of the dome? Well, much of it is the layer of the surface, but I did see a hole. I didn't go up there. I just saw it from the ground. So the crews are going to have to determine just how the extent, extent of the damage. When you say three alarm fire, what does that equate to? I mean, how many firefighters? Well, that's the um, types of equipment that we bring in, different types of equipment and a number of firefighters. The fire was in a really inaccessible place. So we needed to have enough firefighters to cover a, a large amount of area so it wouldn't get out of control any more than it already was. How many contractors were working on the roof, pressure washing, and, and doing all the work at the time? Uh, I don't have that information. When you said that the fire was in a really inaccessible place? It's on the roof. Yeah. And so it's it, kind of, it's really difficult to get up on top of the roof. And do you have any um, estimate as to like the size of the fire? How, like, can you give any kind of uh, indication on that? Uh, no, I don't have that information. I, well, I just was, I'm just so curious. So, so the firefighters that were, uh, they actually had to walk up there. They climbed up there. Is yes. that how? Because I, I don't. I'm trying to vision, like envision how they got. Yes, they firefighters get in some really <laughs> strange situations, but that's what we do. That's what we're here for. So whatever it takes, that's what we do. So were they? I'm sorry, just to kind of back yeah, up I'm your just, question, so I can visually understand it as well. Were they climbing up flights of stairs to the top, or were they literally climbing up walls? Um, to flights of stairs <laughs> to the uh, to the roof. Now, no firefighters are Spider-Man. <laughs> right, right, right. Do we know roughly how many firefighters were climbing up there? Um, we had a, I don't know how many went up to the uh, roof, but it was approximately 16 or 20. I don't have the exact number. With, with your estimate, and I know this is a question we'll probably have to ask others, but just from your initial perspective and in the preliminary parts of the investigation, we're expecting the Saints to be back into this building on October 3rd. What can you just guesstimate just by looking at the damage right now? Well, we see superficial damage. We don't know in if there's any structural damage. Um, and the contractors would have to check that and let us know about that. You don't think it's anything that will stop 
15 from coming by five to the car? I couldn't say. You said several workers who were pressure washer, pressure washing. Can, can you give us a, uh, an estimate or a range of how many workers were up there? Well, I don't know exactly how many was working with the pressure washer. It only takes one person to work the pressure washer, depending on what type they have. Okay. But, and that's, um, that may have been the one that was injured. Uh, okay. So I don't know how many were in that particular area at the time. So several is kind of the best that we can do at this moment? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What's the next step? What are you guys, uh, or is, I mean, is it done or you're still up there? Uh, well, so? they're still doing an investigation and see where the investigation leads. It just determine that that will determine our next step. Okay, thank you so much. We appreciate you very much. Yeah, thank you.